We're giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED. We're also giving away one of those collector's editions of Tears of the Kingdom. And, oh boy, just kind of keep this in the back of your mind. Uh, we're also giving away a special Tears of the Kingdom PAX East pin. And you can enter those giveaways right now in the pin comment or down in the description. We're also on our road to 133,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate if you would go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and maybe hit that bell icon and turn on all notifications. All right, folks, we need to talk about some breaking news in regards to Tears of the Kingdom, and this stuff has been verified. I mentioned this already over the weekend. Uh, I mentioned it in some live streams and I hinted at it at some posts on social media and during a podcast that I did with Switch Force and Nintendo Talk that previews were going to be dropping this week. I've talked about for a couple of weeks now that I knew about a demo event, a private demo event that media got to attend and that we would get previews out of that uh, that event soon. And then I found out heading into the weekend that it was highly likely that previews were coming this week. Well, we now know 100% for sure we are getting previews this week, and we know the day, we know the time, and we're going to talk a little bit about what we should expect from these previews. Remember, these are previews. This is not a review copy, so this isn't like they got to play a review copy of the game and they're giving us a preview of an upcoming review. This is a preview of a, of a demo, basically a demo that Nintendo allowed select media to play. This first popped up over on the Tears of the Kingdom Reddit, uh, posted by East underscore window underscore 2900. He said a group of Italian journalists and content creators that are all huge Zelda fans went to Frankfurt where the headquarter of the Nintendo of Europe is. When groups of people go to Frankfurt, it means big stuff. And Francesco Facetti, a well-known Italian journalist, just said that on Wednesday at 3 p.m. CET, which is 8 a.m. Central Time, that's my local time zone, there will be something big about the most awaited game of May. Plus, basically, all of them said the same thing, making puns with tears in sky. We all know what that is. Now, to further hammer home that this is a Tears of the Kingdom preview event, Tom Henderson, a journalist for, I think, Inside Gaming, uh, put out there with a link to this reddit thread that i can confirm this he put that right out on twitter confirming that yes previews are dropping this wednesday so that's awesome again i knew they were coming this week i knew there was a, a demo event none of that is really surprising about it but it is cool that we now know the exact day and time so what does that mean for us here at well nintendo prime what it does mean is i will be up nice bright and early reading those previews and figuring out what we want to do. In fact, I actually want to pose a question to you guys down in the comment section is, do you want me to live stream the previews going up and then we just sit there and sift through a bunch of previews live and ingest it and talk about it as a community? Or would you rather I just make a standalone video and I just let the previews come out because they're pretty much all going to go live at 8 I'll sift through dozens of them and then just gather all the information I can, the screenshots I can, any footage, if there's any footage in some of these previews, and just compile them into a new video that I hopefully can get up quickly after the previews go up. Obviously, it's going to take a little time to read all the previews and gather all the information, but I think within two hours of the preview embargo, I could probably get a video out to you guys. Uh, if that's what you would prefer me to do, I could do that as well. You guys let me know because... Obviously, knowing when previews are going to drop ahead of time gives me a little heads up to be like, hey, let's make some plans around this. Are we going to plan a stream? Are we going to just plan to really slam the content and I can get a friend to help me sift through the information? So you guys let me know uh, how you want me to cover that. Now, as for what we can expect from this preview area, I'm going to tell you right now, based on demos I've done with Nintendo in the past and preview events I've been brought to, we're not going to hear a lot about a lot to be clear, this is a pre-sanctioned demo of the game. It's highly likely all they really got to play was the tutorial area of the game. Back at E3 2016, when we got to go hands-on as media with Breath of the Wild, all we got to play was the Great Plateau. We didn't get to go anywhere else. And I kind of feel like that's going to be similar here, where they could start the game up on that sky island without abilities, and then you're just really searching through, fighting new enemies, and figuring out the, the, the new systems and stuff. Now, it's possible that they spliced in a 
boss demo or spliced in a dungeon demo. That happens every now and then too, where there's multiple demos. We technically have multiple demos for uh, Breath of the Wild in 2016. They just all took place on the Great Plateau. But I do think that we need to uh, keep our expectations in check that for the most part, what we're going to hear about is how the fuse system works, how the starting area works, stuff like that. Stuff that a lot of us might have figured out already, but we don't have confirmation of. We might see some new enemies potentially, uh, some additional details, maybe on the story if they included any story in this. They usually don't put a lot of story in the demos, but it's possible. And another thing you can expect is interviews. We're going to start getting interviews for this game dropping over the next couple of weeks. That's just the way it goes. When you have media coming in for demo events, it usually also goes into an interview session. I don't know when the interviews are going to go up. I suspect if the previews drop this week, interviews will probably drop next week. Then we'll have another review preview drop in like the Monday of launch week. And then we'll have the actual reviews dropping on Thursday, the day before the game comes out, probably again at 8 a.m. Central. So you guys let me know what you want me to do with this stuff. I'm pretty excited. There's a couple other Tears of the Kingdom things I wanted to mention. One, it does look like retailers do have the Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLEDs right now. Uh, here's an image of, of a pallet of them arriving at someone's work. So that's pretty cool. We know that those come out this Friday, so that's not too surprising. I also wanted to just briefly mention that at Nintendo New York, they're going to be doing a midnight launch event, and it's really cool, and there are actually going to be some exclusive items at Nintendo New York that I'm aware of, so you're probably going to want to go to that midnight launch event. Uh, they have a sign-up for it. I will put a link down in the description to the Nintendo New York Twitter page, which will give you all the information you need to know on how to sign up for that midnight launch if you plan to go there, because if you don't sign up, it won't matter if you show up. It's going to it's a reservation list in order to do that particular midnight launch. So there's limited availability on that. Uh, that being said, uh, there's also some brand new merch that launched exclusively in Japan. It looks really, really cool. Why we don't have any of this merch in North America or anywhere else is beyond me. Maybe we'll get it later. But for right now, I'm just really excited that we're getting previews this week. I think you're excited as well. I told you this would probably be the week of previews. Told you there was a demo event. All of that's now been confirmed. Awesome. Really glad to try to stay on top of this. Uh, whenever we, we I, I find out review embargoes and stuff like that, I'll share it with you guys as well. Just in case Nintendo happens to let reviews go out early or previews go out early, uh, we'll, we'll have to just wait and see. But I'm so excited to get a look at these previews. It, it really makes me smile. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rumpeljance from Nintendo Prime. Stay tuned. We got more videos coming later today. We have some potential news on some stuff for Switch 2. Uh, I know that feels weird to be talking about that again, but it's actually more about games than it is the system. Um, so I'm really excited to actually get into some games and some actual evidence of games being developed right now for the new system. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. In fact, some new Nintendo games being developed I find that to be really cool. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.